stuff is a way to make a healthy new trend at home. Hi Sharks, I'm Alicia. And I'm her husband Dane, and we're from Columbus, Ohio. Sharks, I've been making plant-based milks at home for years. But let me tell you, it's better than the alternative. Store-bought milks. Many plant-based milks in store are filled with preservatives, gum fillers, and processed sugars. Isn't that nuts? We knew there had to be a more sustainable and easier way to make plant-based milk at home. And that's why we created Nutter. Nutter. Our Nutter machine can make plant-based milks in minutes, all with just a push of a button. Simply add some nuts, water, and other ingredients of your choice into your Nutter machine, and after a few minutes of blending, voila, here's your clean and nutritious plant-based milk. Okay, sharks, we know this may sound a little nutty, but we're asking for $500,000. In exchange for 5% of Nutter. Mm, whoa, sharks. Whoa. what the French toast? Who's ready to change the way we milk for a better future? Please check out the Nutter machines for yourselves. Daniel, why don't you come up here and uh, give it a try? Okay. Yeah, and uh, in front of you, you'll also find plain almond milk and oat milk, as well as strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, and matcha, all made with our proprietary nut blends. So, so we put in... Yep, absolutely. Okay, so I'm gonna put in... Uh, yep, put in one scoop, whoa, absolutely. this is good. And then how much water, the whole cup? You can put the whole cup. Okay, so we close yep. it. And then I tried every single one and they all taste very pure and clean. Um, oh. If you just push one button. Okay. And so you let it go. Yes. It stops by itself. It stops by itself. Oh, it is very creamy. It's very creamy. It was no, so Daniel, how does it taste? You know what I love about this is the store brands, you're tasting sugar. This, you taste purely the cashews. What do you sell these for? And what does it cost you to make them? So we make them for uh, $42 each. And what do you sell them for? We sell them for $169. So you have a great margin. Yeah, it's about 73% And are you selling, margin. you're selling it direct to consumer or to retail or so both? Mostly 90% of our sales are through web, our website. So um, I noticed in this box here, you have all these different things that make the drink flavors we just tried. Absolutely. Correct. Tell us the numbers there for your... What, what Nutter you? blends. Yeah, so for bi-weekly subscription is start at $45, and then monthly is $75. What? Per month. Wait, wait. Per month. I can't stand the tension. What, are you, what did you sell last year? We finished a year with $793,000 in sales. Wow. Was there a Kickstarter involved? Or? No. No. Okay, okay, so you okay. Just what start, about okay. this year? What are you going to do? Uh, so far, close to $2 million. We are on track for $6 million Okay, so year. $2 million wow. so far this year. So how did you do that? Did you spend a lot of money on advertising, or what did you do to build community Through and drive your sales? Influencer marketing. And how much did you spend on advertising, promotion, and influencer marketing? Yeah, so you, uh, for the past 12 months, we've done uh, spend on marketing for $1.3 million. Whoa. Did you raise any money? No, we bootstrap. We've put in about half a million dollars. Yes, got you're it. All, you're all in. So here, you guys, I'll tell you what I think. I think that there are always people that like another gadget that help to make their morning coffee experience something experiential and better. I have one of those things that froths your milk, but the problem with me is I love it and I never use it. And so unfortunately, I'm out. Do you have any debt? Do you have any debt or any investors outside investment? Uh, we have a creative financing. So we did, uh, you know, it, it's a Lines. crowdfunding pl platform uh, for... You said you guys said you bootstrapped it. And then you said but you didn't no, do any No, that's actually a financing option. The oh, crowdfunding financing. is not Indiegogo. Or it's a kick further. They are only finance your inventory. Okay, so it's crowdfunding only for your inventory. How much do you owe in uh, debt? Uh, a million. Oh. No in outside investors? No. Nope. No. So we have a uh, soft circle about a quarter million from angels. Um, so you we're looking- You can't be both. You can't have $250,000 from angel investors and say you bootstrap. Yeah, you said you bootstrap. You said you didn't right. have any Right, we still debt. own 100% of the company. That's because it's convertible, no. It's convertible right. though. You probably know I invested in new milk, right? And just 
personally. New Milk is a big commercial one, right? And they have a countertop one too. Um, and so I like the product a little better, but I'm biased there. So for those reasons, I'm out. Appreciate that. If you come in here and ask for $100,000 and I could have put the whole Chef Wonderful thing behind it and blown it up for you and added to the social and all that, then it gets interesting. But $500,000, I have to see a path to liquidity times 10. That's the problem with this pitch. Yeah, I understand that. I'm out. Yeah, I, I appreciate how's that, it. Uh, how's that 5% thing working out right now? Yeah, you got Daniel left in. I'm still talking, but I'm talking. Here, here's what I think. You're trying to charge us in what it will be in the future today. And the future is your opinion. You can make up your own opinion, but you cannot make up your own facts. We have to look at the numbers today. You're good people, great product. I'm out. Okay, I appreciate the feedback. There's then, one shark left, Daniel. Yeah, so since COVID started, um, people really are conscious about what they put in their body. People want to drink healthy, and then really people are willing to pay Let a premium. Let me just first start by telling you. Yeah. So, I'll ask you if you want to make me an offer, I will entertain it. And But I agree with Damon that you came in with an ask that is very hard to reconcile with the numbers. Yep. So what is your best offer? Thank you, Daniel. You are the entrepreneur I've been admiring for years. And um, so... Um, it's going to be a yes or no answer. We'd be interested in 500,000 for seven and a half percent uh, plus two percent advisory share. No, I, I'm, I'm glad that I asked it this way because I would have offended you with what I had in my mind. What do you have in mind? I think uh, I'm out, but who was wrong? Okay. Good luck. Thank you, Thank you so much. Okay. Appreciate it. We're gonna prove to the sharks that they're wrong because we're gonna grow this to a billion dollars and also we're gonna be in every single coffee chain. Um, so, in every single household in America. Next into the tank is a product made with an ancient superfood. Brass Roots is here with healthy snacks made from that sacha in cheese seed. <laughs> Fruits got what you need. <laughs> My name's Aaron Gilmore, and I'm from New Orleans. In case you couldn't tell, I'm seeking four hundred thousand dollars for seven percent of my company, Brass Roots. <laughs> the prevalence of peanut allergies has more than tripled in recent years, with thousands of schools banning peanut and tree nut products altogether, including a kids' lunch staple, the PB and J. <laughs> well, the Big Easy is making snacking a whole lot easier with Brass Roots, the first snacks made from the Sacha Inchi Seed. Now, you're probably wondering, what the heck is the Sacha Inchi Seed? Well, it's also known as the Incan Peanut because it looks, tastes, crunches, and cooks like a nut, but without the allergens, so it's school, pantry, and airline safe. And compared to an almond, widely considered one of the healthiest nuts, it's got 50% more protein, and it's high in omega-3 fats, of which the almond has basically none. And with zero net carbs, it's keto and paleo friendly. From our roasted seeds, to our seed butter, to our snack bar, and we even have a high protein crunch puff. <laughs> so sharks, who's ready to march in our brass band and snack with a purpose? <laughs> Excellent. Sharks, really what you have in front of you is a lunchbox filled with our Sacha Inchi snacks. We've got two different flavors of our roasted Sacha Inchi seeds, uh, truffle parmesan and a sweet heat. And then we've got our high protein crunch puffs in a truffle rosemary flavor. We've got a Sacha Inchi butter and jelly sandwich. Boy, these are delicious. And we've got our chocolate chip Sacha Inchi bar. I like the truffle one. Thank you. It's very truffly. Tell me about you. I moved to New Orleans about eight years ago. And I actually, part of the reason I started this business, my father uh, in 2010 was diagnosed with heart disease. And so as a family, we all started to take a closer look at our health and wellness. And, and I became very interested in nutrition. It kind of became a hobby of mine. Fast forward to when I moved to New Orleans, turns out Louisiana has some of these same problems in terms of childhood diabetes, 
uh, cardiovascular problems. So we really wanted to incorporate that into our whole brand. We do a lot of work in, in the community as well. So we work with different youth, youth organizations there. Uh, we partner with a registered dietitian and we help kids learn about nutrition. In fact, uh, Darren, the trumpeter who is here, I met him through one of these organizations called Roots of Music. Um, they help kids pursue passions in music. So we help them kind of on the nutrition side. Okay. What were you doing before this? Um, I went to school for business. I went into, I worked at Citigroup in the investment bank there for a few years. During that time is when my dad was diagnosed and we, I started kind of getting obsessed with food and nutrition. And then I actually co-founded another business, but we made a mistake in terms of trying to go everywhere at once. Uh, we went national and we didn't have the capital to support all that sales. What was the business? I was called Super Eats. So it was the first kale chip that was a, in the form of a tortilla chip. So I learned that, but I also, in my work for that company, discovered the Sacha Inchi seed and basically said, look, to my co-founder, hey, I actually think I can turn this around, redo everything, rebrand. You let me buy them out, but I did keep those investors. I wanted to get them a return, and here we are. Okay, so why don't you tell me what you're selling? Because if I want to play ball and get involved in this, put Chef Wonderful behind it, I got to write a check for 400,000. Why would I do that? Yeah, so 2019, we did 35,000. 2020, we did 250,000. 2021, we did 500,000. And then this year, we're expecting to do a million and a half. What are you going to make on wow. the million and a half? Oh, we're, we're, not, we're not profitable at this point. Well, how much are you going to lose? So we're basically able to cover our overhead with our gross margin right now. On a monthly basis, we're burning anywhere from 20 to 30,000. Okay, how much how much do you have in the bank? We have about 100,000 in the bank. So you're in a tough place here. You're going to burn out in 90 days. What's your leading SKU? What's your leading I So actually the lightly salted seeds have been our best seller. What's the cost? Yeah. And the reason? So that costs us about 450 to $5 all in and then we're selling it for $17.99 right now. How much is this? Uh, yeah. Same price. $17.99? Wow. That's a lot of money. So we're so actually at a discount to organic almonds, priced at around $19.99. How much have you raised in investment to date? Uh, we've raised $1.7 today. Hello. Oh, wow. Uh, at what valuation? The most recent valuation was $5 million post-money valuation. So you've got investors in at five million bucks. You've got 90 days worth of cash left. How much pain are you willing to take? Because there's no way on earth I'm giving you a 5.7 million valuation. Do we even know what you still own yourself out of the company? So I own 33% of the company right now. Mm. Oh, So are hard, you willing man. to take pain? So he already is. <laughs> yeah. Part of the reason that I have 33% and not, you know, 75, for example, is that my first investors who invested in 2014 in a separate business, I really wanted to commit to them. I could have honestly- So you rolled it over and gave them equity. Yeah. And, and you know, people tell me you. all the time- Well, that's very well, honorable. And I see the merit of what you did, but rolling over equity from a dead deal, when you invest in venture, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But your friends are your friends forever. I get it, but even your friends understand you gave it your best. In venture investing, poo-poo happens. You took that weight and you brought it into your new deal and it took equity away from you. You actually burdened me with all of the past sins. I'm out. So look, you're, you're in a catch-22 where you've got to spend to grow because you're trying to educate people about what inchy seeds are. You're trying to educate them about your product. And what compounds the, the challenge is your margins are small. That's going to be difficult. I just don't see it. So for those reasons, I'm out. Okay, I appreciate that, Mark. Well, so you're an amazing, beautiful person that are trying to solve a lot of things at the same time. But you only have 33% left and there's no meat on the bone for me to feel comfortable. I'm going to be a customer, but I appreciate I'm out. that. Okay. Listen, it's a very interesting product. I'm really into health. I always have been. The only problem I see with it at all is, is that people just don't know in mass yet what the Satcha Inchi seed is. And I don't know enough about this product or how to get that known and recognized. So I'm. Thanks, Lori. Did everybody go? You're the Almond King. <laughs> Aaron, I'm struggling here because there's a lot of good in what you're doing. 
you project an enormous amount of self-confidence, I assume that behind it, there's the feelings that all of us entrepreneurs have when we're facing three months left of financing and we're like sweating. The silver lining in the months ahead that you're gonna face is that there's nowhere to hide, right? So it's gonna make you stronger because every dollar matters. Mm -hmm. I don't think this business is investable at this moment. I wish you the best, but I'm out. Okay. All right. I appreciate that. Good luck. Good luck, man. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> that guy is in a world of hurt right now. You know, he's a good guy. I think he's a great guy. And it's painful to turn down, have to turn down people like that all the time up here that have amazing missions and you want to be part of what they're doing. I know Mr. Wonderful said we're in a world of hurt. I very much disagree with that. We've got such great growth metrics right now. People are coming to us talking about how much they love Sacha Inchi and it's actually helping and changing their lives. So I'm, I'm really excited about our future. First in the tank is a dessert brand based around a unique ingredient. Hi Sharks, I'm Loria Stern. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and welcome to my garden, where you don't just smell the roses, but you can eat them too. That's right, Eat Your Flowers bakes gorgeous treats, each one bespoke, each one hand-decorated with edible botanicals. Calendula, marigolds, chamomile, these are just a few of nature's beauties that I use to top onto cakes, cookies, key lime pies, and even chocolate bars. Sharks, everyone loves flowers, and everyone loves baked goods, so I'm combining the two to create something truly unique. My treats, they look so beautiful, you don't want to eat them, but they're so delicious, you can't resist. <laughs> Using nature as my color palette, I'm transforming flowers, herbs, fruits, and vegetables into an array of delicious, nutritious, and beautiful works of art. We also sell edible pressed flowers for decorating and edible flower fetti for you to sprinkle onto dips, salads, desserts, or whatever your heart desires. Sharks, my business is blooming, but I need help tending to my garden. I'm seeking $250,000 for 12% stake of my company. Tell me, sharks, who's feeling the flower power? <laughs> so let me tell you what's in front of you. There are my signature flower press shortbread cookies. The colorful ones are naturally dyed and flavored with plant pigments. It is gluten-free and vegan. And those blue crackers, they're vegan, gluten-free, and naturally colored and flavored with butterfly blue pea flowers. Cookie is very good like a rich, buttery, wow. shortbread cookie. This is incredible. Wow. Thank you so much, Robert. How did you come up with the idea? Uh, well, the story is, um, I'm from a small town, Ojai, California. Always a nature girl. Actually, I grew up as a nationally ranked tennis player. Uh, when I was 12, I was number one in the nation. Wow. 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 I taught tennis for years after graduating college. And then at the end of the day, I was cooking and baking for the pros at the tennis club. And that brought me the most joy. So then I decided I'm gonna work in the culinary industry. I was a private chef and caterer. Wow. And now I run a successful baking company out of a commercial kitchen with a staff and bakers. Why don't we talk some business? So you've asked yes. for 250,000 for 12%. I'm going to make the assumption you have some sales. So why don't you walk well, us Kevin, through that? Well, Kevin, as I said, my business is blooming. Overall lifetime sales, 2.2 million. What? Yes. Wow. wow. 2020, we did just north of 430. Uh, 2021, we did just north of 750. This wow. year, we're on track to do 1 million, which is- Wow. Hey, how are you doing this? Direct to consumer? Yes, direct All to consumer. Online. And are you profitable with it? Am I profitable? Am I profitable? I want to know. All right, you let us know, Klaus. I am very profitable. So for this beautiful box of cookies, it is $7.50, including labor costs. And we sell them for $50 per box. Whoa. Whoa. 50. That's right. Wow. Oh, some proud cookies. How much money are you going to well, make? Well, so let me just tell you. Last year, we uh, walked away with 
330. I must tell you, I never set out to start a company. I was just making food, posting it on Instagram, and my photos went viral, and the largest national publications you could think of started featuring my work multiple times. Whoa. Vogue magazine three times, Oprah magazine three times, wow. New York Times, LA Times, Goop magazine, or Goop, uh, Harper's Bazaar. Who's doing your social media? I do everything. So what do you do, work 25 hours a day? I work so hard. That begs the question, what are you looking for in a shark? I would love a mentor. I don't have any, so it would be incredible to have a partner to give me advice. Barbara, will you be my mentor? <laughs> Gloria, this is a beautiful, artisanal, custom, very high-end product. Do you worry that as you achieve scale, some of that beauty of the product and uniqueness may not scale? For sure. I see so much opportunity with the products that I've created as well as the other ideas that I have. And I think that I could see my cookies in Starbucks. At $50? No, a pack of two for oh, $7. So you're, you don't want to lower your price point. You, just, you would package it differently. I do. I would love to have a, a price point that's more accessible. Uh, I have an idea of a cookie. There's a lot of competitors doing that. What's unique about your store here is you actually hmm. make money because you're premium. Anyways, I've heard enough. I'm going to make you an offer. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. You're going to be a lot of work, but... Kevin! No, listen, I, I'm going to make you an offer. It's good news, not bad news. Okay. okay? All right, let's hear it. I'll give you the 250000 I want 25%. Hello. Woo! Can you what also you just explain offer? to Say me it again. Uh, 25%. the vision of my company that you have for my company? Yeah, I'm going to keep it premium. Okay. You can't compete in the confectionery space at a low price. That space is completely full of competitors that have scale. I'm gonna help you stay premium and blow your story up. You are the brand. I mean, you're walking in here like a flower girl because you are one. You gotta keep that. But that's a lot of work. I gotta get paid for that. So I want 25%. What do you 25%. think of this offer? What do I think of it? I wanna hear your offer, Lori. <laughs> well, listen, I think it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> you are a luxury item. You are. But I don't see this as the right business for me. I wish you good luck, but I'm out. Thank you. Gloria, I, I mean, one of the hardest things to do is establish a brand right away yeah. and get a high price point. Mm -hmm. And you've done a remarkable job. I don't see the investable side of this business. Um, not for me. I'm out. Okay, thank, thank you, you, Robert. Yeah, Gloria, let me, let me add to that. Okay. The company is you. You're the brand. Products are incidental. When you deal with media, the story has to be about you and building yourself, you know, to be the Martha Stewart of flowers, you know, edible flowers. Because trying to be mainstream will backfire against you. But it, it's not a fit for me, I'm out, but I think you have to focus on you because that, that's what makes this the 25, 50, or $100 million company. Did you say anything about taking your product out of the premium space? I didn't get that. Well, I would like to create a line of products that could be sold at Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. And I have a lot of ideas. But you're not in retail now, are you? No, I'm not in retail. That That's a hellish space in this area. Yeah, you don't want to be there. Like, you know, it's very right. hard to compete. You could get scared away. I don't get the feeling you're the type of person that gets scared away. If you think of something, you're going to try it. It's well, is she making an offer, Barbara? What? No, I might make you an offer because I'll tell you what I love about you. What I like about you is you're ambitious. Very. The part that bothers me, why I, I'm hesitant to make an offer, it's not because I don't believe in you or the product. I, I'm all in on that. But I don't get really, again, why you need another partner. I like to be valuable to somebody, like I make a difference. I think you'd be very valuable to my business. I want to keep growing. I work so hard. I do everything. And I need to hire an operations manager, somebody to take me out. Is that what the 250's for? Part of it is for that, and I wanted to invest towards developing a CPG product, but the best fit. investment of your money is in the right people. 
Right. right. If that's really what you need in a partner, I am your girl. So if you really need my help on that, I'll give you an offer. Okay. 250,000, 15%. I don't think you're asking too wow. much. You just say yes. Barbara, you have a deal. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna cry, I'm so excited. Oh, yes, nice. That's great. Congrats, You have to give Gloria. me that dress. Bring it to mom. <laughs> Terrific. You are great. Wow. Excited. Congrats, Great Gloria. job, Gloria. Thank Good you. job, Gloria. Great job. You Good job, Barbara. I will be a yeah. customer yeah, for sure. Yeah, me too. She's good. Thank you, it was an honor. Knowing that Barbara is my partner is mind-blowing. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. I can't even imagine what we're gonna create together. And I'm so excited.